A quieter day at Mauna Kea today. More protesters showed up, but there were no arrests on this holiday. No construction work on the 30 meter telescope either. Protesters did turn away this truck for a company that was to build a fence on the site. Guards were on hand, still, protesters were allowed on the site where they walked around and built an ahu. A religious shrine. A far cry from yesterday's day filled with arrest, which today brought together an OHA trustee and a community activist who called for action. Well, I don't know what Two Hawaiian do. community leaders with similar concerns but different messages. The goal now is not to stop the building of this observatory. The goal now is to get all of these observatories off this mountain. Strong words today from longtime activist Walter Ritty in response to yesterday's arrest of 31 demonstrators protesting the building of the 30 meter telescope at Mauna Kea. OHA trustee Peter Apo speaking on behalf of himself, making it clear while he respects Ritty, getting rid of the telescopes is not his goal. Apo wants a stand down on the construction of the telescope. He's calling on the governor and UH President David Lassner to make it happen. By declaring a 30 day moratorium, and create a quiet period during which time the governor should assemble the right set of leaders in an attempt to engage in meaningful, not condescending, meaningful conversation. Apo wants the state, along with Native Hawaiians, to revisit the management plans of Mauna Kea, which is ceded lands, lands that formerly belonged to the Hawaiian Crown. Both say the multi year process leading up to the issuance of a green light for building the telescope were flawed and pointed out there are still cases pending before the courts. Maybe it's unintended arrogance uh, for the uh, university to, uh, for the Board of Land Natural Resources to issue a uh, 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 in order to begin construction while you still have pending litigation. Geez, we're here in the spirit of peace and aloha and you handcuff us? The tipping point, the arrest. Riddy says he met with the governor's chief of staff, Mike McCartney, and Lassner and the LNR officials Wednesday night and left that meeting with the belief there were going to be no arrests. The arrests uh, that are being made is really, in my opinion, a stunning error in judgment and kind of an in-your-face provocation to Native Hawaiians that a construction schedule is more important than people. The university issued this statement today, quote, UH welcomes all calls for more dialogue and is actively meeting and addressing the issue at the highest levels. While McCartney issued this statement, quote, we are aware of the situation and are deeply involved in discussions and conversations about this important matter. However, we must respectfully decline to comment at this time to protect the integrity of these discussions and allow productive conversations to continue. Apo says he will also encourage OHA as a whole to get behind that push for a moratorium and for renewed conversations.